Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. You're the realist. Yes, my name is still Chelsea. Follow me on social media. Across all social media, I am at I am CC Suarez. If you'd like to watch any of my other commentary content, go ahead and click that little playlist up there. Merch is linked down below. My like to know what page, the Reddit page, where to send any clips or videos that you would like me to react to. Instructions for that are linked down below as well. Just a little warning, I am not feeling 100% today, so... I also have to film four videos, so I'm not really sure how well that's gonna work out, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get through it. <laughs> but this is top fails number 46, and I'm really excited about it because there's some cringy things happening. So let's go ahead and get right on into this video. I have an an analogy. Bear with me, because sometimes my analogies are real silly, but they make perfect sense in my head. So you know at the gift exchange, when there's like this big, beautiful box, that's like the bows are perfect. And then you have like this slopped up wrapping paper gift, right? And no one picks the slopped up wrapping paper gift. Everyone picks the big, beautifully wrapped gift because that's what their mind tells them to go after. And I think that this business is like that, okay? Our ego is constantly telling us, no, it's not that. First of all, how drunk is she? Just chilling in the hot tub, drunk as shit. Someone needs to take her phone. That's like the number one rule. Once you've had a glass of wine or three and you get in the hot tub, you don't take your phone with you. No, don't do that. But then also how she said, it's, you know, it's, wait, she, did she say Secret Santa or did she say gift exchange? I think she said Secret Santa because with Secret Santa, you don't choose your gift. It's a secret and someone like gives you a gift. I think she's thinking of White Elephant where you like pick the gift or steal someone else's. Maybe I'm drunk. Who knows? Uh, nope. It's not shampoo. Nope. When God is putting this right in front of your face over and over and over again, and you are choosing to say, nope, that's not what it should look like. And let me just tell you guys, ego is not of God. Like it's not. And our ego, you know, has a lot of control over our actions and caring about what other people think. And, you know, I mean, I look back to even the first time that I... Ego is not of God. Girl, neither is your pyramid scheme. Posted it on my feed that I was doing money. I remember being so, so insecure about it. And um, I don't know. It's just, it's really crazy because it's like, I couldn't have helped anyone through building furniture for celebrities and filming TV shows. Who was I helping? Whose life was I changing through that? And it's like through this opportunity... I've changed a lot of lives and I've been able to be that vessel that God used. I just know. What? God is not using you as a vessel for your pyramid scheme. And also, why does your job have to change other people's lives? Why can't it just pay your bills? Oh, that there's so many of you out there who are in that position or in that mindset that I was. And I feel you. And I understand. But... You have to trust, you have to trust, that you have to trust, you have to trust with every ounce of your being that God, he knows better than you do. He knows better than you do about everything, about your future, about your now. Um, and, and I don't know, I just, I guess what I do know is this opportunity is the answer. I say this all the time. It's the answer to every prayer you have. More time, more financial freedom, more self-confidence, more love for life in general. Like it just, it literally gives you everything. Does it give them everything or does it give you everything? Because they're joining and you're getting money for that. Like, I'm so, ugh, like, I already don't feel good. And that just made me feel worse. That's disgusting. God does not want you to be part of a pyramid scheme where you are taking advantage of other people. Imagine thinking that, like, whatever higher power you believe in 
agrees with the MLM you're a part of. Imagine reaching that far to make yourself feel better about what you're doing. Yourself, it's think of the lives that if you were to be in this business with me, if you were to be a partner in this with me, how many other lives that you could be blessing i know that there's people in your life that you hear that like they hate their jobs they hate their current financial situation they wish that they could get out of like a domestic abuse relationship but they have no freaking idea how and they're just they're petrified and they're just standing still stagnant but you could be that voice to help them get out of that and i'm telling you guys that this is the way to get out of so many negative situations and if god is putting this on your heart i'm telling you now he's picking you for a reason you have so much to give oh my god how wow how is a pyramid scheme going to get you out of an abusive relationship you would just be going from one toxic relationship to another like oh <sighs> listen i don't often choose violence but I want to punch this girl in the left tit. Damn, Amber, you suck. Like, how how dare you? As someone who has been in a situation like that, how dare you? So this one is obviously a reels and it has the song, uh, Destiny Child, Bills, Bills, Bills. And it says, when my little business makes six times what the average person makes in a year in one month. Yeah, you're also at the top of the MLM. And her caption said, rather be rich because I'm curious than broke because I'm a skeptic. Don't take advice from people who aren't going where you want to go or who have never done what you want to do. Do the thing. You just might surprise yourself and change your life. Best choice I ever made. DM me to learn how you can create a multi-million dollar business right from your IG. You are not creating anything. You are selling a product and selling a false opportunity. Yeah, that shampoo I'm sure works really well. Is that why you're wearing an extension ponytail? Okay, so this one is a reels as well. And it's everyone's favorite Forex girl. It's so dumb. And I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's because she has smaller lips. But every, like she's, okay, so you know how I've told y'all before, I have hooded eyes and a lot of people with hooded eyes train their eyebrows to like stay up so that you can actually like see right here. Like it's to the point where I have to like, okay, this, these are my eyebrows normal, but <laughs> I, I, uh, I hold them, I hold them up. That's what my eyebrows look like when I hold them up. And that's actually one reason why probably this Christmas I'll be getting Botox. So they just stay up and I don't have to do that myself. Probably sooner than that. I'll probably do it at my sister-in-law's or before my sister-in-law's wedding. Anyways, she like holds her lips like this. Like she constantly has a duck face. It's so strange to me. Like she holds, she like does this. It's really weird. And she uses so many filters and everything. It's like I'm constantly being catfished. And no, this is not me commenting on her appearance or anything like that. That's not her appearance. That's just her making a face constantly. It's so strange to me. It's not like super duck face, but she like goes, like, it's so, it's so strange. So strange. But this is a how to on TikTok. So how to reach your goals and be very successful. Create your mind through law of attraction using guidance of God. Create my mind. I don't have to create my mind. It's already there. That way, everything you want becomes yours. That's not how this works. Be very open-minded to new opportunities. Get educating. Get educated on investing and invest. Love through it all. Ma'am, God, and I wish y'all could see it, but like, can I zoom in on her face? No, it won't let me do that. But literally, she's like this right now. It's so weird. So weird. And it's really sad because I feel like that's what being in an MLM has kind of done to her too. She's constantly on Instagram, constantly on Instagram stories. And people can be ruthless. I get it. So I feel like people have really maybe bullied her or shamed her about her looks. So that's why she's like constantly going like this. And she said, keep going. Don't give up. You got this. Okay. Oh, I did put it in this video. And the crazy part about it is I didn't even have to do anything but copy a signal that my mentor sent out into my phone. 
And obviously you want to get to the point where you don't have to take anybody's signals. But why not take signals while you're learning the material so that you can make money while you learn? It's simple. Is it, is it simple? Is it, is it simple? Because we all know you're not actually making money from that because it's your money you put into it. So then in an IM Academy, you make more money recruiting. So that's what mostly all of them do. So what do you do a girlfriend? I'm so tired. Uh, okay, so this girl said network marketing doesn't work. It's a scam. And it says inconsistent, not coachable, tries for two weeks. It doesn't work on personal development. Why does that have to be part of your job? It's called brainwashing. Never on team calls. Maybe because that's a waste of time. Too comfortable, lacks growth mindset, plans, but never executes. Ooh, we got it. Ooh, nice. We got another one from this girl. And it says common misconceptions of network marketing. Pyramid schemes are illegal. Offer no product and pay uplines with recruiter money. So you're telling me you don't get any money when you recruit someone because that's a goddamn lie. It even says it in your compensation plan that you get paid more money for recruiting one person than you do off of like a hundred to two hundred dollar sale of shampoo. So try me again. And pyramid schemes are illegal. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist, you dumb weasel. And there are and have been product-based pyramid schemes. So come at me. Let's go. Show tell me another way you're uneducated. Eventual such oh my god, she's going way too fast. Oh, that's so gross. Eventual saturation. Every day someone turns 18. There isn't a finite number of people. That is disgusting. That is so disgusting. Also, there's only a certain number of people in the world though. People are dying off. And yes, new people are born. And yes, new people are turning 18. But you can't recruit all those people. If I recruit five people and those five people recruit five people and so on and so forth, by the time we hit either, I believe it's the 13th or 15th tier or layer in this pyramid, we'd run out of people in the world. That's including babies. Tell me again how it's it, how it works. This is so dumb. It's a cult. There may be some fanatics, but I ain't one of them. I stay grounded in facts and figures, but all your facts so far have been wrong. And that's actually a like a cult mentality as well. You need experience and a following to be successful. I started with zero social media experience and less than 900 followers, but was hungry for more. I will say this, that girl's hair used to be like a lot darker and her hair looks better how she has it right now. Oh, that's so sad. This this lady's thing says, comment below if you want to be a review model. And she's like touching her hair and stuff, but her hair looks horrible and like thin and greasy. And then she's balding. Oh, that's so sad. And this one says, bitter people say you always post about your business. It's so annoying. And she like is wiping away a tear saying, we do not care. My bills are paid with my work from home business. And then the caption says, I will post about my business all I want. This has been paying my bills for the last five years and counting. I'm not stopping my hustle for nobody, but feel free to join me and make money from home. I'm all about helping others grow. And again, her hairline and like she's definitely balding. Girls, put down the products. Yikes. Oh God, that's so sad. It's so sad what these MLMs do to people. How it makes it makes you so blind. No, not at all. But I love being a part of a company that makes it a part of their fundamental like belief system. Like a part of Monation's one entire day is for church. I know. I was like, like (laughs) jaw dropped. Yeah. You know, and I truly believe too, when you, when you go through a company that is anointed, there's just, if people don't believe that there's a higher power, like I'm trying to explain it, like fear, fear of a higher power of God is good because then you're not going to go and slander someone's name or you're not going to go and you know what I mean? The fear is good. So what I'm saying is, is that when you have a company that is anointed, they're not going to do wrong because they believe in God and that, you know, putting out good is going to bring good back. And so if they want to have a successful business, then obviously they're going to need to, you know, pray and make decisions based off of that. I hope that made sense. Yeah. Um, but also just, but the, my favorite part about money is that they're not drowning you in it. Yeah. It's a choice for everyone. And I think that's huge, a huge, especially for people, you know, like my dad 
if I would have ever like drug him through the mud or, you know, threw the Bible in his face. Or oh my God. Anointed means like blessed by God, basically, right? Again, using the Lord's name in vain. I guess that, I mean, I don't know how I got so many of these types of videos in this folder. It's pretty crazy. I guess that's the theme of this video is God loves MLMs, apparently. I feel like that just shows as well that it's even more of a cult than people realize is that they're using their religion to justify what they're doing and make themselves feel better about it. Like she just said, I'm like this company, they can't do anything bad because they love Jesus. Ma'am, there are bad people in church. There are bad people who are Christian and using your religion to justify the shitty things that you're doing and the unethical things that you're doing, that's wrong. You cannot do that. You are in a cult. Call your dad. Throwing stuff at walls, finding out if it sticks. Just ask your recruits, hey, where'd you find me? Just ask the people who are following you, hey, where'd you find me? If you've ever sent me a friend request on Facebook, I send you a message. What does it say? What's it say, Facebook followers? I'll tell you what it says for those of you that don't know. Man, I'm really giving away all my tricks today. Hey, that's fine. My message, when you send me a friend request, I literally say, hey, Amelia, how you doing? Thanks for sending the friend request. I was just wondering, how did you find me and what questions can I answer for you? I send it to every single friend request. Why do you think I do it? I'm asking. Tell me where I should put more of my time. Oh my God, if the bombs are going off in your brain right now, drop a bomb in the comments section because I know that's a good one, okay? They'll tell you. Oh my God, I love that live video you did. Oh my God, somebody shared you to Network Marketer, blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, my best friend so-and-so told me I had to watch you. Oh my God, you were on my For You page. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Guys! Follow the path to success. Just found me yesterday. Hey, Louisa. I'm telling you, very easy, very fast. Makes your life easier. Makes your business easier. And if you're launching a business, you need to know where the leads are coming from. If you got value from this, this was free 99. If you want me to keep doing free 99 training, just hit share. Share it with a friend. Share it with a business partner. Share it with somebody who should be in business. Because I'm telling you, I'm going live every single day at 12 Central Standard Time to make sure I deliver you guys content. This will be uploaded everywhere. Um, I don't know how to do it with TikTok, but it will be uploaded uh, on YouTube. It'll be uploaded on Instagram. It'll be uploaded it on Facebook and on a podcast. So love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. My name is Jesse Lee. Call me hashtag boss Lee. So how does she have any friends? <laughs> Listen, this is going to be mean. Buckle up. No wonder she can't stay in a relationship because I don't know how any human ever would be able to handle that. And I mean, I'm, I'm a lot. I'm a lot. I'm not for everyone. However, and I mean, I've, I found my person, right? And I'm not saying that you can't be a strong, loud, powerful woman and also be in a successful relationship. You can exhibit A. But that is so like abrasive, obnoxious, and just annoying. The people have asked me before, why is she constantly screaming? Why are these MLM girls always screaming? It's because that's a like, that's like a public speaking or like really a cult leader tactic that people will use. If you're yelling something, if you're super passionate and you get everyone into it, it makes the mediocre thing that you're saying seem so much more powerful. And it's so, so weird to me. So weird to me. If what you're saying is actually that powerful and that mind blowing and that helpful, you can just say it in this tone. You don't have to be screaming all over the place and dropping bombs and blah, 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 blah. Like she reminds me of a Muppet. Maybe she is a Muppet and she's just being controlled on the inside by a tiny alien and her face is gonna open up one day and he's just gonna be there all shriveled. Like that, that would explain a lot of things to me, honestly. That is actually gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the Wiggum cam. I hope you enjoyed the fact that apparently God has blessed all of these MLMs. So remember to stay spicy. I appreciate y'all so much. Be assertive. No is a complete sentence. Keep those boundaries. If you're going through something right now, it is temporary. You will be okay. Just keep your head up. Acknowledge the feelings. Acknowledge what's going on. Maybe find the triggers. Try to isolate those. And I don't want to say cut them out of your life, but distance yourself. It's okay to be selfish. If it costs you your sanity, it's too expensive, okay? So please take care of yourselves. We are this close to <laughs> working from home for two weeks, trying to flatten the curve again, and 
is sour dough bread and Carol Baskin. So just for the love of God, wear a mask and get vaccinated. And if you want to unfollow me, because I think everyone should get vaccinated, unless you have some crazy, like legit medical concern, then that's fine. But please, for the love of God, get vaccinated. So I will see you in my next video, which will most likely be tomorrow or the next day, unless today is Friday, because I typically do not post on Saturdays or Sundays, unless Friday's video takes forever and then I post it on Saturdays. But either way, I will see you in my next video. Bye.